Here are the addendums to the Quark Spotlight. Restarting after most option changes is normal for Quark, so it is probably best to do your Quark configging from the main menu before you get started in a world, um, especially if the configs that you are going to change are part of the world module, since that's going to affect your uh, world generation. So just be aware that when you are going to do configs, you should probably as a personal tip from me to you, do them from here. Although, as I have shown, you can do them from in-game, but you will need to quit the game once you're done. Worldstone bricks are polished granite, polished diorite, and polished andesite, and they come in walls and slabs of all of those. Creepers turn red before they explode. Blocks on top of note blocks is actually a vanilla mechanic and it mutes the note block. And shields can be made less intrusive through the mod option for doing just that. Of course, this will need a restart. And then you have a less intrusive shield. Now, because Quark had an update the same day I did addendums, I thought I would include the update. Enjoy. All walls in Quark are now 1.5 blocks high, as they should be, so you can no longer jump over them. Quark walls now properly support torches. Charred nether bricks have been added in both brick, steer, and slab form, and can be made from a nether brick plus a fire charge. New polished and brick forms of both normal sandstone and redstone have been added with the slabs and stairs variants available for both, although there is no polished stair variant. A new game rule has been added. As you can see, I have cobblestone in this chest. If I do the game rule, quark underscore allow drop off false I will now no longer find that this button works and if I log back in I will find that the button has disappeared entirely you are now able to link items in chat if you go into your inventory look at the item and press shift T it will link it in chat if you then hover over the item in chat, it will give you the statistics of that item. You can now no longer hide from Endermen under a too high platform. They will simply try to teleport you to them. This feature is not enabled on easy difficulty. You can now share chickens. It will, of course, hurt them. Also, if you kill a chicken that has been sheared, it will no longer drop feathers. Carts can now be simply right-clicked with the object that the cart can be used with to turn it into a cart of that type. Dyed Elytra now have a tooltip. As you can see, this one is dyed red. Witches, when killed, will now sometimes drop a witch's hat. This can, of course, be worn. The emotes have had their GUI changed so that they now all fit on the screen when you have the largest GUI scale. Pistons will now dismount you from a seat that you are sitting in. Plains biomes now generate the occasional large tree, much like swamps generate giant mushrooms, just to give it a little more taste. Blazers now spawn naturally in the nether, away from a nether fortress. Slimes can now be caught in buckets, and when you discover a slime chunk, the slime will start dancing in the bucket. You can also deploy the slime and it will happily bounce around until you pick it up again. You can also use slime in a bucket as a crafting recipe replacement for slime, but why would you do that, you monster? 
Treasure maps can be found in temples, and they will lead you to buried treasure. X marks the spot, and the treasure is found. And finally, big mushrooms have been changed the way that they spawn, and now their default is 0.5, so there will be less big mushrooms in swamps by default now. Thank you everyone for watching the Spotlight Addendum. Bye-bye.